How's it going tankers and welcome back. Right, update 2.4 is out and within update 2.4 is a quick preview of some of the new premium tanks that are going to be released very soon. I think it's quite nice of Wargaming to let us have a go before we buy and this is not the first time because some of you that might have found it by accident or just knew it was there, the recent SU-76i was used in the fifth tutorial mission but is now not it's now been replaced with something else. Right, so the first tank, what are we looking at? Well, it looks like a Panther, doesn't it? But this is the Panther MIT 8.8. It's basically the Tier 7 Panther uh, with the Schmalterm turret and the L71 88mm cannon. And it's a pretty good tank. I, you know, I watch a lot of PC videos. I uh, do do some pre-research on these sort of things as well. When this tank came out, it did get slated a little bit, just like the STA-2. They're kind of the same sort of thing. Um, the Panther 80 is basically the Tier 7 Panther with the Schmalterm turret, but the Tier 8 tank's 88mm L71 gun. And it's not a bad gun at all, and that's what this thing is. It's basically a they're very average chassis with a great gun. The reload on this thing is around 6.6 .6 seconds without any equipment and crew skills. So you can imagine that as a tier 8 tank with your equipment and crew skills you're going to be looking at around maybe maybe under 6 seconds for a 88mm cannon. And it's pretty accurate. The gun handling is pretty good but what you don't have is the chassis to be able to move around particularly quickly. The track traverse is very bad. Obviously this is the tier 7 Panther but with some heavier equipment on it so if you can imagine what the tier 7 Panther drove like this is going to be ever so fractionally worse than that. The track traverse is not good and as you're going to see in a minute the hill climbing ability is actually pretty poor on this thing but overall um, I watch Zircon on stream quite a lot and he likes this tank and if he likes this tank then it must be pretty good. So there we go, the Panther MIT-88, or just Panther 88 as a lot of people call it. This is a tier 8 German premium medium tank. On PC it's going to cost you 7,300 gold, but obviously that is on PC. That is... we might have it completely different. This might be 12,000 gold for us. You never know, and it depends what they sell it to us with. Right, so there we go, that's the first one of our preview, and not a bad tank all round. A great gun with an average chassis. Right, so on to the next one. So here it is, this strange, very, very strange looking tank. For those of you that don't know, this is the T28 heavy tank concept. I think this was the second set of missions, personal missions on PC. Uh, basically there was four sets of 15 missions done three or four times and each step you got a different tank. I think the first one was the Stug Fear and the second one was the T28 heavy tank concept. This is a premium tier 7 American tank destroyer with a 105mm cannon and a ridiculously large gun traverse. It's a bit like a tortoise actually. Extremely well armoured for tier 7. There is one major weak spot with this tank which stops it being completely overpowered and that is the two little Daleks you can see on the side. Uh, they're not easily penetrated but they're not that hard to penetrate if you know what I mean. Uh, any equal tier tanks are going to go straight through and lower tanks, lower tier tanks might have a bit of a job getting through it. Accuracy is around 0.4 which is not bad for a 105 at tier 7 and the rate of fire is obviously not bad at all for a such a large gun at tier 7. Uh, it's fairly mobile and obviously you can see there the gun traverse is pretty damn good for a non-turret tank destroyer and this was obviously the concept for the T28 I think there was actually some prototypes built of this yeah so tier 7 premium American tank destroyer on PC this costs 7,000 gold but again same with the Panther 88 that could be completely different for us it could be less it could be more but overall quite a solid tank destroyer and I possibly will pick this one up myself right on to the next one So the last tank we're going to look at in this premium preview is the tier 7 premium American tank destroyer, the Scorpion. 
yeah, so we've got two brand new American Tier 7 premium tank destroyers coming in, but this one is completely different from the T28 HTC. T28 HTC is all about the armour and its big, derpy 105mm cannon, whereas the Scorpion has literally no armour anywhere and a very accurate, fast firing 90mm cannon. This tank has a ridiculous camo value and you're going to need it as well because it literally has paper thin armour and will get penetrated by, from hate by a few rounds from every tank in the game pretty much. Yeah, so this is probably going to be for more of the skilled player's tank. Yeah, so there's not really a lot else to say about this tank other than it's got no armour, it's got a good little gun and it's fairly mobile as you can see. Um, you're going to need it. If you get found in this thing the light tanks are literally going to rip you to pieces and they will probably actively look for you as well being that their light tank will be able to penetrate your high explosive and rack up some serious damage pretty quickly but the gun is excellent very accurate, very fast aiming the overall gun handling seems to be pretty good all round this tank is very slightly cheaper on the PC than the T28 heavy tank concept well if you could buy it for gold uh, the gold costs are shown, but again, the T28 heavy tank concept was a reward tank, whereas this... I don't even know if this has been released on PC yet. I've not seen any uh, replays other than preview replays, so we may get this first. You never know. Would I buy this? Uh, don't know. I've got a horrendous amount of American premium tanks. I was hoping for some more premium tanks from other nations, possibly the SDA-2 would have been nice, the uh, premium Japanese medium tank, that would have been nice because I could really do a different Japanese premium other than the Chinu Kai. Uh, yeah, you know what I might mean. Well, there we go guys, if you want to try these tanks out, these tanks are now in the tutorial missions. They've removed all the old tanks, put these tanks in and changed the tiers of the targets that you're going to be firing at. But please remember, you're going to get a good idea of what the tank is like, but just remember the targets you're going to be facing are lower tiered bots. Some of them don't fire at you at all, and they couldn't hit a barn door if the barn door was in their face, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. So please don't take what you do in these tutorial missions as what's going to happen in the live game, but just get the feel of the tank and see if it's something you're going to want in the future. Right, there we go guys, I hope this preview helps for some of you guys that don't keep in touch with what happens on the PC version as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a like if you did, please sub if you're not, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later!